All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is VMP here. Welcome back to a little more of our hardcore Iron Man series on Mountain Blade Bannerlord. So, last episode was a lot of fun. We got to play as a merchant for literally the first time ever. <laughs> the first time I've ever been a merchant in Mountain Blade. Uh, it was uh, a little bit worrying at one point when we had like 200 kegs of beer and zero dinars to our name and possibly no one to buy those beers. Uh, but we managed to actually salvage quite a profit, ended up breaking 10,000 dinars for the first time, gaining a decent bit of trading skill. But after that whole affair, Rolf has decided the life of a merchant, not, not really for him, you know. There's a, there's a risk. There's a risk that if you might buy something and you can't find someone to buy it for a higher price and you just lose. You just lose money. You lose everything. Or your men just drink all your beer and that's another risk altogether. So what if there's a way to, to get that risk out of the equation? What if there's a way to get things for free? And then, then it doesn't matter what you sell them, sold them for, you're, you're making profit. Now, how do you get valuable items for free? Well, in some civilized circles, it's known as stealing, looting, pillaging, raiding. But Rolf, <laughs> Rolf doesn't care much for civilized norms. And... What is yours is his. So I think we're going to go ahead and uh, start acquiring all the goods of nearby villages in order to further expand Rolf's war chest, expand his army, and uh, get ready for the next step in his uh, <laughs> quest for world domination. So we're all the way over, all the way over here in the Southern Empire, this beautiful little village of, of Amicon. And you might say, VMP, why the hell are you all the way over here? Well, there's a, there's a saying. I, I think it's something along the lines of, you don't shit where you eat. You don't bring work back to home. If we're eventually trying to be a vassal of Landia, we don't gonna want to go around pissing off all of our soon-to-be comrades by raiding their villages, taking out their towns and whatnot. And honestly, we don't even want to do that for neighboring factions because their lords... Occasionally they wander into our lands and we don't want it to be on site between us. We don't want it to be on site. They're charging us. So that's why we've traveled all the way over here to the Southern Empire where I couldn't even tell you who runs this place. I don't know who owns the Southern Empire. It's not my business. What is my business is these villages of theirs. These villages that only have nine militia defending them. So here we go, Rolf. Time for your first step into the criminal underworld. Raid the village. Alright. Nine militia. Jesus Christ. We've got 31 troops. We better be able to take it on. I've been I've been recruiting up a decent amount of boys. A decent amount of recruits. Um, just on the way over here. As well as winning some tournaments for some spare cash. So we're actually doing pretty good on money and all that. I want to see how viable this is as a strategy. Um, I'm also slightly concerned that if we get criminal raiding. And if we piss off one of the Empire factions... Then all the Empire factions might give us at least a criminal rating, but I'm not entirely sure if that's how that works. So, we're just going to find out. Get back there, boys. I don't like their archers. Oh! Shumi! Shumi! My man! Absolutely clapped that guy. Also, so thank you for all the comments last episode. Um, there's some pretty funny ones, but most importantly, I asked you guys if you would be okay with me installing the community mod pack, which actually makes it so that the the perks are functional in the game um you know the perks that are supposed to be working but aren't right now and that was overwhelmingly a yes from you guys so i will be downloading and installing that um not sure when probably in the next couple episodes i'm not in a huge rush to do it we're not we're not really at the point where we're accessing many of those perks that aren't working for us or wouldn't be working for us if we had them unlocked so i'm not super stressed about it but we will get that pretty soon here all right couple imperial recruits leveled up what I've been doing is recruiting Imperials and training them into infantry. And then all of our Vlandians, I've been training them up into crossbowmen when I can. Uh, let me go ahead and take those prisoners. Thank you very much. Looters, I mean, you guys know the drill with them. They're just, <laughs> they're just fodder, okay? At the end of the day, they're just fodder. All right, so boom. We've wiped out the defenders of the first village. Now, okay, who's all pissed off at us? All right. I think that's just the notables of this town. Yeah, the notables of this town absolutely fucking hate us now. And the criminal rating with the Southern Empire increased to 60, okay. 
Okay, yeah, that, that happens. All right, so now we're raiding, though. And now we need to keep a very close eye on lords coming our way. So this is basically the most out-of-the-way out southern empire town that there is. I checked it out. There's no one in Sestadim. Um, but we got to be careful. So here we go. We're going to play this. Well, yeah, maybe fast forward a little bit. What do we get? If we look on the side here, I believe that's where they'll start telling us when we get supplies, when we get loot. So what do you got? Oh, hold up. Some wool. Oh, here we go. Yeah, they, they stack them up over there, and we're gaining some roguery. Perfect. Okay. See, after we do this for a while, you know, we might... There we go. Some more wool. Okay. Okay. I don't know how much wool is worth, but we're going to find out. This is a great way to get roguery skill. Holy shit, nice. All right, we got some grain. Not bad. I see some I see some sheep. Yeah, give me those sheep, baby. All right, nice. Oh, look at these looters. Yeah, I bet, bet you wish you thought about this. Bet you wish you thought about raiding towns. This is a perfect way to make money. Okay, another sheep. Cool, 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 cool. All right, some more grain. What was this? Wool. All right, all right. Some cheese. Okay. Keep it coming, keep it coming. We're almost halfway. All right, this is a decent amount of loot and, a, and quite a bit of roguery XP. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Keep it going. Are we actually going to be able to loot the whole place? Rolf just leveled up. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. Hell, yeah. Okay, can I level up now? I can. Oh, perfect. All right. So, we did have a level uh, at the end of last episode that I didn't show you guys. I put that into cunning. And I think athletics is what I did. Oh, roguery's good. Roguery's good. Um, the learning rate on that is so high. I feel like we don't actually have to put a point in there right now. What do I want? I kind of want medicine. Right now? Is that... I think that's the move. Is that or like tactics? Medicine's lower though. Yeah, we'll get that. We want to get to preventive medicine as soon as possible. A 10 extra HP is huge for us right now. For just staying alive. And even just like in tournaments, having an extra 10 HP is big. That's been, that, honestly, the difference between winning and losing battles with 10 HP is more often than you think in, in tournaments. Especially in 1v1s. Alright, beautiful. Losing a lot of daily gold, if I'm being honest. What? Who's What's our wages? Like, who's costing us all this? I think we profited more than we lost there, but I'm not 100% sure, if I'm being honest. How much do you guys cost? Three? Okay, five, five. Okay, so that's 15 with those. Hmm. And all this adds up to... Oh, Apis and Shumi are the expensive ones. All right, well, they, you know, they're our, they're our right and left-hand man. That's fine. Okay, so what do we get out of that? What do we get out of that? Three sheep, seven wool, some cheese, some butter. Okay. I mean, that doesn't seem too bad. Let's head over to Amitatis. Go ahead and drop that, on, drop that on off. I didn't, I didn't see. How many days did that take? Probably no more than a couple days, right? Like maybe two days? Three days? I think that's a decent amount of profit. Keep the grain. Sell everything off. Oh, yeah. 1,300. Hell, yeah. That's profit. I love it. Plus all the stuff from their troops. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. That's totally worth it. Alright, make sure to lock all these down. Yeah, okay. Not too shabby. I've had a taste for it. I want to go back. Oh, <gasps> caravans. Alright, we're not quite ready to take on caravans, but man, that's the next step. That's the next step. If once we get a, a larger, more powerful army, we can start taking them on and it's, oh, it's showtime. <laughs> it's a wrap. Okay, Where? what should we do next? Sestadim? That seems like a trap to me. That seems like a trap. You're up in the mountains. If a lord comes, they could corner you easily. Alright. So I think I'd prefer... Popsia. Popsia. Yeah, that one. If we can take this one on. I'm in good shape. Alright, so we're at 19k. 19.1k. Let's just see what we're at once we're done raiding. Taking, in, taking into account all of our wages, all the food, all that stuff. Alright. How many... 15 militia? Oh, that's not too bad. Criminal rating. Alright. Alright, let's go. Let's go. 
that actually decreases over time. 0.25 a day. So it take us take about a year for uh, <laughs> our actions to to wear off. Okay, I mean, you know, had to do what we had to do. At some point, we might have to move over to. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Maybe maybe it would have been smarter to have been a, a state sank a state sanctioned uh, raider. And by that mean, what I mean is like kind of like oh baby yeah 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 yeah. Just became Italian there. Yeah 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 yeah. No 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 no. This is still a hardcore Iron Man. I got to be careful. We get stuck in the middle of a bunch of troops like that. It's a it's a fat wrap. There we go. 90 damage. Oh, I know that didn't feel good. You're running out of time. My troops are closing in on you. And I'm closing in on you. GG. Oh, a nice little stab there. 77. Do it to him, baby. Good work. Who's left? Who are you guys running after? I love how our boys wear black. Oh, that's awesome. Who's left? Where's he at? We've been blessed. Damn right. Where's he at? Where's this guy at? Fucking trees all over the place, man. What kind of what kind of village is this? They say they're producing sheep. Yeah, he probably got away. All right, good stuff. We only lost two guys there. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Who did we lose? Oh, a crossbowman. No, that's one of the good guys. But all right, we got a decent amount of stats there. Getting a little bit of medicine. Beautiful riding. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. We'll take the prisoners. I forgot. We can also. Oh, we can also sell off the prisoners if need be. That's some more profit that I wasn't even thinking of. Okay. Yeah, things are looking pretty good. Right, at least we replaced the crossbowman that died. Get some money from all that loot. Alright. You paid 105? What? Why? Oh, for... Oh, no, no, no. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And those villagers are like, alright, maybe we don't head back to town right now. <laughs> Maybe we don't go back in. Let's uh, let's just walk around for a little bit. All right, some hardwood. Hey, there's some certain towns that we can sell that for like 70 a pop. So we're actually making good money off this right now. All right, keep it up. Keep it up. Okay, lots of hardwood. Beautiful. Oh, we're going to get so much from this town. As long as no lord comes along. I need to be watching this more carefully. I'm not. Looters. All right. Party starving. We got some grain. Look, we just looted some grain. Fuck, party morale is taking a hit. Um. Alright, just wait. Wait for a little bit longer, boys. Some more hardwood. We're gonna be fine. Shit, party is, is not good. Morale is not good. Oh, there comes Ray G. Uh... Alright, that's a wrap. We're out of here. We're out of here. We got some food. We got some food, right? What? We're eating 2.2 food a day? Holy shit, you guys are expensive to feed. Oh my god. Alright, I'm in time. Let's get the hell out of here. Ray Jail? Fuck off. Oh no, she's fast! Oh, she's very fast! Okay. First things first. Okay. These guys. Get the prisoners out of here. That should speed us up a little bit. Cargo within capacity. Alright, we got footmen on horses. Okay, alright. Knight's taking a big hit. What's really hurting us? Disorganized? Is that just because... Why? Why are we disorganized? I can get rid of the looters. Would that help? That does help. Okay. How fast is Reggie J at right now? Three? Okay, we're at 2.6. 3.7. Okay. Okay. Alright, we're pulling away. We're pulling away. We're fine. We were just disorganized, I believe, from finishing the raid. All right, I understand that we're starving. I'm sorry, boys. Three troops have deserted. That happens. It happens, okay? Look, did Rolf budget our supplies wisely? Maybe not. He also didn't think y'all motherfuckers were going to be so hungry at eating all, our, our, all of our stuff. But with that being said, let's see if we can make some money off all this. Oh, baby, we made some money. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Beautiful. 2,000. I love it. Okay, we'll get some food. We'll get some food. Stop whining, you twats. There you go. Tons of grain. All right, you guys happy? <laughs> stop. Oh, uh, gonna stop complaining. All right. Um, We need to get some of those troops back, I think. Okay. 
Not bad. Not a bad first foray into uh, being a criminal. I mean, obviously, didn't go... <laughs> Didn't go the best with uh, with budgeting the, the food and all that. But besides that, I think we did pretty good. Got a lot of money. We're up over the 20k hump. I love it. All right, let's get out of here. Let's see if we can win some more tournaments. Look how, look how happy Rolf is. Oh, look at that smile. I don't think I've ever seen Rolf smile like that before. He's so cute. What? Pay a bribe to get into the... Oh, whoops. I thought I did arena. My bad. <laughs> Thought I did arena. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Hey, what? What's this? What's this then, eh? Better not be a man hunter. Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> Must have clicked on the wrong thing. All right. Uh, I'm just curious. Who did we lose in the party? Who do we still got? We got. Uh, I mean, most of the good guys. Yeah, we got mo most of the good guys stayed. That's all that matters. What do you guys have here? Not shit. All right, we need to start doing some quests for some of these guys. Not here, but in like, uh, back in Vlandia. Can I win this tournament at 54% HP? It might be a little dicey. We can try though. Splint boots. Oh, that's some good leg armor. Oh, it would well, be really nice to win this one. I don't know if we can. We're gonna, we're gonna try. We're gonna try our best. Oh, come on. Dude doesn't even have a shirt. Fuck him up. W excuse me? There was a shield in the way of that, and you just said, fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna go right through. Heavy horseman or an Equite? We'd like to go up against the Equite. So let's go for blue here if we can. Gotcha. GG's. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Next round. Okay. Don't mind that. Of course, Tadios made it. Probably going to be facing him in the finals if we make it that far. Fuck off, Equity. I'm not trying to face you. There we go. Good hits. Good hits. Oh, he's, he's worked. He's hurt. He's quitting. Quentin! Boom. One by one. Good stuff, Rolf. Alright, so now we got the recruit and a 1v1. Perfect. And then Tadios would be the tough fight to uh, finish it off. Alright, fair enough. Let's go. Little hurt. Well, we should be able to... This guy shouldn't be too much of a threat, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not too bad. Tadios is going to be a little bit of a challenge right now, but... We'll see what we can do. I don't feel like betting this at all. Look, bet 100 just to get 110 back. No, I do not feel like I win this fight more than 9 out of 10 times. That's what those odds are. Oh, fuck me. What? Are you kill what? In what world? No! Come on! There's no way! I, my shield was up and it was too uh, blocked to the side! Oh, that's some. That's some steaming hot bullshit, is what that is. I wanted those splints! Those greaves! God damn it! Alright. Well, it is what it is. All right, looters, I'm pissed off after losing that tournament, so <laughs> you're going to be the brunt of my uh, frustrations. All right, there we go. Attack, 19 v 19. But we don't have any looters on our side now, so we're actually decent. Get out there, boys. Goal, actually, it would be really nice today if we would actually... No, never mind. There's no way we're getting to 60 riding. But we want to get up as high as possible. Oh, my goodness. Well, tell you what, we keep hitting shots like that, we might just get to 60 riding. Holy. The game gives you a lot of XP when you get long range shots when you're moving on horseback. As it should. Even though, realistically, you're just getting lucky. But, <laughs> for a coolness factor alone, it's deserved. There go, some big shots there. What? Are my troops routing? Are you fucking kidding me? Is our morale really that low? Holy shit.
We lost like two guys. Killing more of them than they killed of us. And the rest of my troops just fucking ran. Holy shit. Alright, there's gonna be some some stern uh, stern beatings tonight. Troops are gonna have to learn to be better. Oh boy, no, no, no. We're so close. I forget this is a hardcore Iron Man sometimes. I can't be fooling around like that. Did we win? Well, I lost three troops the entire fight and they were running away. Those bastards, man. Alright, where do we need to be going? Where's somewhere over here? Holy shit, that was closer than <laughs> closer than it should have been, man. None of my troops have actually Attack! Attack. You fuck, stop running away. Two enemies left. Are they gonna turn around and attack me? I can't risk. Ooh, no, 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 no. Put the rock down. Put the rock down, sir! Thank you. Mr. Dwayne Johnson doesn't like being picked up like that. Okay, one more. Whoa! Fuck! Oh, man. Oh, there's no way we actually managed to conquer the entire map before I get taken out in a stupid battle like that. <laughs> there's no way, right? Damn. Oh. Alright. Everyone that retreated, we're going to have to talk. Alright? Uh, we're going to have to talk a little bit. Peasants, can you level up in anything good? I guess you level up into uh, just regular recruits. Gotcha. Okay. Oh. It is what it is. Cool, cool. What these yellow stock, baby. Fuck, I can't do a tournament right now. Definitely can't do a tournament right now. Um, What quest do you have? What's your issue? Overpriced raw materials at Ortizia. I'm not trying to become a criminal here, too. Not right now. Um, mm, let's just sell everything off real quick. Cool. 353. Not bad. All right. Let me heal up. We'll maybe win another tournament. And then let's go. We're going to go back over to Vlandia. We're going to see if we can become a mercenary. I think all you need to be is clan tier 1 in order to become a mercenary. And I think it's clan tier 2 that you can become a vassal. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Holy shit, I won a tournament with only like 40% HP, I think. Beautiful. Alright, well, on that note, I think we're ready to head out then. Got a little bit of our morale back. They're still not happy about the recent events, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, tell you what, you know what, let's actually... That's not okay. Let's cheer our boys up a bit. Let's get them some... Uh, Oh, grapes are pretty cheap here. Are they? 31 still feels like a lot for grapes, but I guess, what do I know? There you go. Boom. We're paying some serious cash to keep our boys happy. At least for a little while. Okay. Let's go talk to Durthurt. Or, actually, I think you can just talk to any, uh, any vassal, right? You don't need to talk to just Durthurt. As long as they are, they're at war, right? It's Vlandia. They're always at war with somebody. Sturgeons. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. All right, we can work with that. Oh, we can work with that. Yeah, let's go over. Oh, hello. And a, oh. <laughs> oh, Sargoth, huh? Really? There were, out of all the towns, Sturgia wants, wants Sargoth. Okay. All right. Interesting. Definitely interesting. Oh, never mind. They changed their mind. Oh, here they go. Oh, Durthurt's... Oh, he's taking it to him. Oh, he's putting in work on him. Look at that. Outnumbered 5-1 to one at this point. That's a wrap. That's a fat wrap. Can I help out? Ah, no, I gotta wait. Okay, Durthurt. My man. Ooh, not who I meant to talk to. Hello, Mitzi. How you, ooh, how you doing, girl? What's your name? Uh, Lawyer Vassal of Durthurt. All right, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, bet. Cool. Uh, no. Alright, something I'd like to discuss. Oh, I'd like to enter the service of King Durther. Your clan is at war with factions that Vlandia is not hostile with. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's not good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is not good. Crap. 
I need to actually go make peace with the Southern Empire somehow. And I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do it. Alright, who is the Southern Empire at war with? Maybe we could just become the the mercenaries for someone else. Who are you guys at war with? The Azurai? And me. <laughs> Shit. Well, this just got a little more complicated now, didn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Um, well. Is this good? Oh, that's better than one I currently have. Oh, and I actually look like a bit of a warrior now. Beautiful. All right, go ahead and sell this off. Boom, some more cash. All right, back over 20K. Yikes. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm not trying to wait the 240 days it would take in game for that to deteriorate down to zero. How do I make peace with them? I mean, I think if I talk to a lord, I can, I can just, you know, smooth, smooth things over. Otherwise, I think I have to join the Azerai's mercenaries. I think that's literally what I have to do. And so here's the thing. If I join the Azerai's mercenaries and I just stay with them until they're no longer at war with the Southern Empire, I think then our relationship with the Southern Empire gets reset. I think. Well, actually, no. Since it's considered a criminal raiding, I don't know how this works. We might have fucked up. We might have really fucked up. <laughs> um... um well, we're gonna we're gonna play it by ear. Alright. We're gonna join these guys. And hopefully by the time they make peace with them, that means we can make peace with them. That or maybe if we just end our mercenary uh contract with them, the uh relationships will also reset. You never know. We'll see what happens. Any uh any lords in here? I don't think so. No? No one cool to talk to? Alright, never mind. Hmm. All right, well, let's find someone real quick. Finally, holy shit, Quarez, come back here. I want to talk to you. Quarez, or whatever your name is. Please. Uh, bro, do I got to pay a bribe to get in here and talk to this guy? You kidding me? Oh, there's someone else over here. Maybe we can talk to him. These guys are speedy, man. Holy shit. Oh, there we go. Nathan. Nathan, how fast are you? Fuck, my... Jesus, these guys are fucking zooming across the map. Oh, there we go. No, no, no. <laughs> we almost got to it. There we go. There we go. All right, cool. Okay, name is Rolf. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. Uh huh. Uh huh. Something I like to discuss. Uh, quick question. What? Okay, what? Huh? Come on. No, let me join you. Let me join you guys. You're at war with uh, with them. Am I really gonna have to pay however much to to get into the keep? Just to talk to these guys? Might not even work. Is the worst part. Alright. Uh, Quares. Oh, you're a minor faction. Oh, fuck me. They're all minor factions. Alright, Milanka, what about you? I don't think I... I don't think you even... Uh... Oh, yes. Here we go. Wait, Ragenvad? What the f... What do you mean, Ragenvad? Sturgia, what are you doing? Who are you? What are you doing down here in the Azurai land? Oh, you're killing me. I just blew 600 for nothing. Where are these other minor faction lords at? I want to at least give it a shot. Alright, uh-huh. Son of a bitch. I have to find a real vassal. Not these scrubs, not these minor faction dudes. Ugh! Where are they at? Are they... They might be in the Southern Empire doing like a siege or something. For all we know. Nathan, I already tried talking to you. Faction Gilman. Yeah. Oh, you're actually not a part of them at all, are you? God damn it. Alright, back to the search. Oh my god, I finally found a guy. It's been so long. <laughs> Holy, there are like no vassals in their actual lands. They're all offense, no defense. Okay. I would like to enter the service of Sultan Hakim. Whatever his name is, my sword is yours, for the right sum. 70 for every group of enemies you vanquish, or for an equivalent deed. Alright, I accept. Thank you. Oh. Yep, this is as long as the dinars are flowing, so will the blood of your enemies. Cool. Beautiful. Holy. That took a while. <laughs> God damn, that took a while. What happened to my banner? Oh, they fucked the banner all up. All right, we'll have to fix that. Okay, you know what? I think this is a pretty good time to wrap up the episode. Rolf's uh, 
Rolf's journey into becoming a criminal has, uh, has definitely taken its first step. It's well underway. Next episode, we're going to hopefully continue to uh, press the advantage while we're, we're under contract and continue to raid some of these towns. Um, and then we're going to look towards potentially becoming a vassal in the not-too-distant future. But until then, as always, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking about the series. And as always, take it easy.